All right, today we're going to learn how to make apple cake dough. And the reason I'm doing this is because popular demand from the family. Seems like you guys weren't paying attention when Oma made it. So I'm going to refresh your memory. Kind of like uh, William said, like cement mixing. Is that what it's like? Yeah, kind of like cement mixing. First thing we got to do is turn on the music. So, oh yeah, cool in the gang, ladies night. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta wash our hands. Mm, right, oh yes, it's ladies night, oh what a night. Get your clean rag, wipe down your counter. Because, yes, we will be rolling the dough out on a counter. Not in a bowl, right on the counter. And if my floor was clean and I washed it good and that's all I had, I'd be doing it on the floor. Because you do what you have to do with what you have. Now, let's see. we got some of our cup stuff. First thing we need to do is have three cups of flour. So you get your three cups of flour. Oh yes. One. It's late night. Two. that baby up. Put it to the side. Next thing you need is to put a hole in the middle like a volcano. A hole in the flower. Let's take a little close-up view of that. You see that? Make a hole in your flower. Why are we doing this? Because all the ingredients that are going to go into the apple cake dough are going to go in here. It's a magical apple cake. So the next thing we need is one cup of sugar. Got some of this organic cane sugar. Regular sugar tastes good too. Any sugar you got, you got brown sugar, use that. Whatever kind of sugar you have. So you get yourself a cup. And you toss it right here in the middle. Scoop it out a little bit like this because you want to make sure that your wet ingredients like your vanilla and your milk and stuff like that doesn't run out. All right, put the sugar to the side. The next thing you're going to need is one egg. So you're going to crack your egg and you're going to put it right in the middle like that. Crazy, huh? And then wash your hands a little bit. Ooh, can you hear that? You know what that sounds like? Let me think. Maybe Marvin Gaye. Let me check. Oh, it's Marvin Gaye. Woo, let's get it on. All right. A teaspoon of salt. So who's got time to measure, right? Put your hand out. Throw that salt in there. Yeah, that looks like about a teaspoon. Throw it around. Make sure you get it all around and make it easier to mix. Ooh. Nobody could sing it like Marvin. Nobody could sing it like Marvin. One teaspoon of vanilla. Now for the vanilla, I like to use just a regular spoon. So it's like a teaspoon. And you just kind of pour that in the middle. 
put your vanilla to the side. The reason you're putting everything to the side is so you don't use it again. Because I do that all the time. One and a quarter sticks of unsalted butter or margarine. Unsalted. Now, Oma told me to use the unsalted because it tastes better. She said, don't use the salted. She said, for some reason, it doesn't turn out so good. So it's got to be unsalted margarine or unsalted butter. That's going to be one and one quarter stick. Put that in the fridge. Okay. Now, she told me a little trick about this with the butter. So you gotta read here, so a quarter cup would be four tablespoons, one, two, three, four. What's really cool is they have the little markings on here. One, two, three, four. So just cut it there. So unwrap your butter. Now you slice it, like this, slice, slice, and put it all around your flour mixture. You don't have to be perfect when you cook this, I mean, you don't have to be perfect. You just do it as good as you can, it'll all mix up together in the end, you know. Cooking's supposed to be fun. And enjoyable, and that's why we got Marvin Gaye singing in the background. Because Grandma likes Marvin Gaye, Mom likes Marvin Gaye, I'm a grandma and a mom, and I like Marvin Gaye. I'm an auntie. And I like Cool in the Gang, and I like all that old school music. I like Motown Sound from Detroit. Woo! Detroit, go! Three tablespoons of milk or five tablespoons whipping cream. Whipping cream usually comes in a can and it's labeled whipping cream. It's not, not really a can, it's a carton. Like a little small carton and it says whipping cream. I'm not using that, I don't have any. Grandma's not supposed to be drinking milk. I got lactose intolerance. So I'm gonna put soy milk in there. Let's see how that happens, that way. Alright, so three tablespoons of milk. Let's grab the big old tablespoons right here. One, two, and three. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. This recipe is a very forgiving recipe. And I gotta put this back in the fridge. All right, the fun part. If you have a ring, take it off because it's going to get messy. And let's see what we got. One more thing. I think we need to put two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons. Okay, we got one. Go all the way around it. You're going all around your hill. Make sure you get that stuff off. Get another one. Not too high. All around. All right, now, this is where it gets interesting. Most people don't cook like this because most people don't know the secrets like Oma did. Great Oma from Germany. They didn't mess around. They just used what they had. And they, you gotta squeeze this butter through your fingers. And this video is gonna take a while. But that's the way it goes. You wanna know how to make this? You gotta pay attention. So really what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be moistening all the flour. 
Now, I could have sliced up the apples first to make this for apple cake, but you want your apples to be as fresh as possible. So you want to cut them last before you do anything. And this right here, the dough can sit in your refrigerator or you can freeze it. So you can use it later too. So it's important to get your dough done first. Give me the knife. You're gonna find when you work with this that you're gonna have to, it's gonna take you some time to get it in there. You can stick it, if you stick it in a bowl, because some people are like, oh, I don't want to put it on the counter. You know, the counter's dirty. Well, the counter's about as dirty as your bowl is. So it's clean, clean. Just wash your counter down. Oma used to use bleach sometimes. She'd bleach down her counters and um, make sure everything was sterilized like that. And we can be lovers and our tears starlight look in your eyes. Oh, don't you know we can fly? Just give me the night. Woo. So you see it's getting more together. Mash it in there. Oma used to say, don't be afraid of that dough, Laura. Don't be afraid of the dough, Laura. So uh, she meant, don't baby it. If you get some on the floor, sweep it up. No big deal. You know? They have an old saying, don't cry over spilled milk. Because what are you going to do about it? Clean it up, that's about it. Be more careful next time. And if you can't be more careful when you spill it, well, you spill it. Life's not that serious. Uh, some stuff is serious, but not spilling milk. Even if it's the last milk you have, I don't think it's that serious. You know? Drink some water. All right. It's getting together in a ball. So this is July 16, 2015. Just in case you people think that I'm living in the 70s because you hear 70s music playing in the background. I don't think they had such good quality cameras in the 70s. If they did, we couldn't afford one. That's for sure. We're busy living in a trailer. Well, not in the 70s. But I was more like in the 90s and the 80s. The late 80s and the or, uh, middle 90s to late 90s, we were living in a middle 90s. We were living in a trailer for nine years. A trailer that had very little insulation. And we can only turn the heat up to 62 degrees. In Michigan winters, that makes for some tough people. We had some tough kids. I got some tough kids. I got a tough son and I got a tough daughter. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to have everything you want. It's a Mick Jagger song. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometime, you might find you get what you need. And you know, Mick Jagger's not that great of a singer, so I don't feel so bad messing up his song. He might have made a lot of money, but in my opinion, that guy can't sing for nothing. He can't dance either. And he's not that good looking. But he might be to some people. 
There's someone for everyone. Even Mick Jagger. So, this is how you do it. You make it into a ball. This is Pandora, by the way. Pandora is a music program. They're playing uh, Fantastic Voyage right now. I just put on some good songs that good to dance to. And we don't need the cookbook right now. So, you want to get this as much dough as you can get off here. Right? And what we're going to do after we get this dough up is we're going to make the crust fit the pan. Your pan needs to have some sides on it. Now I have a glass pan that I'm going to use. Um, Oma used to use a cookie sheet, like a metal cookie sheet with some sides on it. Little sides. She'd make a long thin sheet, but I'm going to make out of a glass pan. So it's going to be about this big. All right. The thing I need to do is get wax paper. What do you need wax paper for? Yeah. I'll show you what I need wax paper for. So, this is another way of what we call improvising. I don't have a rolling pin. Oh, for heaven's sakes, what am I going to do without a rolling pin? Oh, I need a rolling pin. No, nah, you don't need a rolling pin. What do you need a rolling pin for? You know? To make things easier? Oh, well. Things are easy enough. So what we do is we're going to take this baby in half. Put one over here. Put one here. And we're going to get our wax paper, make it about a little bit bigger than the size of our pan. Put the wax paper down on here. Pop your dough there. Get another piece of wax paper about the same size. Pop it on top. Smash it down. Grab yourself some kind of a, this is a water bottle. All right, it's not a rolling pin. A rolling pin now, right? We don't need this pot here. So we're gonna roll it. Don't be afraid to press on it. Roll that sucker out. One thing Oma liked to do was she liked to double her recipes, which means Instead of putting in one egg, we would have put in two eggs. Instead of putting in three cups of flour, we would have put in six cups of flour. Instead of putting one cup of sugar, we put in two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla. Everything would be double. And that way, you could make it enough apple cake for a big family or for a party or to give to some people that you like that did something nice for you. But I have a little small family here, which is going to be basically just Alex and me. Grandpa Alex, Alex, we, uh, it's just him and me here, so we don't need to double it. We just need one big enough for two people. And I wanted to make sure that the family learned how to make this. Because I've been having some questions lately about how do you make that? Can you flip it over? Well, there goes your 
rolling pin and hit the floor, it's not, if it's dirty, so what? You got wax paper on here. It's not going to make your apple cake dirty. Flip this over. Keep rolling. Oh my. Michael Jackson had to come on. Grandma's got to wash her hands and turn the channel. Some people like Michael Jackson. Grandma does not like Michael Jackson. Pervert. There we go. That's much better. So Grandma's going to wash her hands quick again. Oh, yeah. To get... You know, you still touch and stuff when you're cooking. It's important to wash your hands a lot. Because you don't want to put germs in the food, right? This is much better. This is cool in the game. This should fit into the pan now. All right. So dry your hands up real good. Grab your pan out. Here's the pan. Now, Oma, when she made it, she put some breadcrumbs on the bottom here. Breadcrumbs. That's like you put your bread in the oven, you toast it, smash it up until it's really fine, and then you put the crumbs in. I don't have any bread. But you know what I got? cornmeal. So let's take a look at this. This is what this should look like. It's flattened out in here and the whole time I was doing this. I was rolling it. See? Rolling the wax paper. Grabbed it. Flipped it over. You know, rolled it some more, etc. Okay? So you got a good look at that. Now here's this. This is going to be a little big for this. Pull off the top layer of wax paper. Grab this. This is the fun part. Flip it over. Okay. And it's going to be a little big. You want it to be a little big. Because you want it to take up the sides. Too. Alright? So that's not bad. It's a good thing. Now, see? Alright, so you see this part has less and these have more. Just grab yourself your knife. Just you just cut the butter. Cut that off. And put it on the part that doesn't have as much. Take those parts and you fill in the, uh, the rest of the dough. Just like that. If you got extra, you put it in your other pile. Because what you're going to do with the other is you're going to make a top. We're going to get into that later. Today, the only thing we're going to do is get this pan ready. And we're going to roll out one more one more thing of the apple dough apple cake dough now this is a very thin I rolled it out thin you can make it thin or you can make it thick depends on how you like it because it really it tastes like cookie it tastes like a cookie you can actually make cookies out of this dough which I think is pretty fantastic it's an all purpose kind of dough it's a basic recipe for a lot of German cookies. Alright, so we got that. We're going to put this to the side. We're going to grab our dough. And you know what? Grandma didn't put the cornmeal down. You know why? Because you really don't need it. So we'll just toss that aside. You can use it if you want. 
It's supposed to help it from sticking, but you know, I really never had a problem with my stuff there sticking. The dough doesn't really stick much, so it's not a big deal for me. Now this one, we're going to roll out because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to cut this to be a top layer. But I'm not going to do that until tomorrow because tonight I'm going to go work out. After I get done doing this video, I am going to go work out. Ooh, Sister Sledge, we are family. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Here, let me turn it up a little bit. Here we go. How's that? Uncle William and Mama Sarah did a dance recital. They were in dance for five years. And uh, this was the last song they had, the finale. I thought that was so cool. Uncle William tap dances. He's a tap dancer. He's a good dancer too. And Mama Sarah's a good little dancer too. She does some moves i never seen before. She's a great little dancer. She likes to do her own thing. So we're rolling this out. Put some muscle into it. And they be that close. That's right, Jasmine. We are family. We are family. That's right, William. We are family. That's right, Cassandra. We are family. That's right, Grandpa Alex. We are family. That's right, Aunt Peggy. We are all family. Just begun to get our share of this world. Dear high, high, high hopes we have for the future. And our girls are We don't get depressed. Here's what we got. All right. Have faith in you and the things you do. And you can't go wrong. Oh no, this is my family too. That's what we got. Now, that's going to be it for today's video. And tomorrow, I will cut up the apples, teach you how to cut the apples up. We got some good apples too. We got a variety of some apples here. We got some pink ladies, granny smiths. We're going to cut those suckers up. We're going to peel them. We're going to core them. We're going to cook them. Put them in there. Put the crust on and we're going to make us our apple cake tomorrow. Apple cake is like, a German apple cake is like an American apple pie. You'll find that out when you see it. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to put it in the fridge where it can set and the flavors can mix overnight and it will be even tastier tomorrow. So I'm going to put that in the fridge and I'm going to put this one in the fridge. You know, it's nice to put like a little light covering over that. So let's do that. I'll put a little light covering over it. All right. Put that on there. Do you like my honey? I'm going to plant that in the house. It grows better. Now I'm going to do one of Jasmine dances.
Jasmine does it way better than I do. All right, you guys. Love ya. See you tomorrow.